So Charlie going with the Sheik, the character he's been using all tournament. Against Muffin for Mars is Lucas, the character he values the most. Winners finals, game one. We begin this one with a quick 24% for Muffin and another up tilt to get a few more. A perfect shield, but unable to get anything as he did manage to cross him up with the aerial. This time the perfect shield from Charlie, able to get a tilt into an aerial out of it. Another perfect shield. These parries are just becoming more and more frequent the later we get in the bracket. I, he just he is these two are parry machines, I swear to god. Charlie just gonna occupy center stage for the time being. There narrows, he protects himself and does get the needles into Bouncing Fish. Charlie the King drawing first blood here. 86% to his name. Looking very strong after a quick early interaction from Muffin. It's just been all him to start and end that first stock. But that time Muffin answers back with a risky aerial offstage because he was sacrificing stage control if he missed, especially with Sheik's fall speed. PK Freeze is not going to come out in time, and that's going to be the invitation for Charlie as well. Another landing aerial as well as the tilt, and gets the Bouncing Fish off of it. He's just flowing through this gameplay right now. A few pummels into the back air, and another Bouncing Fish. Muffin for Mars losing two stocks within two minutes. Use the up special from above the ledge, so no opportunity for a two frame there. Another perfect shield from Charlie. Another bouncing fish back to 50%. Managed to magnet absorb actually the up special projectile there. Which did. That was 26%. That's nothing to scoff at. Tech me, Mel Vizier puts him on top of the platform and gets the medium hits of that Nair, but he's going to be trapped on top of the platform only for the time being. He manages to escape. And more from Charlie. Smart DI out from Muffin to avoid the bouncing fish follow up. And he needles into dash attack this time and goes deep for that aerial as well. That's not going to kill. But just interrupting the PK Thunder too. Muffin has such a task to make it back and does. Crucial tech. But that's going to be another back air from Charlie. There's no surviving that one. Muffin from Mars is going to drop game one after just getting pulverized in that second stock. And despite bringing it back with a great recovery and a few capitalizations, Charlie just got so many perfect shields. If there is anyone out there at home over the age of 21, please do not turn the amount of perfect shields into a drinking game because you will be regretting it at the end of the night at the rate these two are going. It is going to be onto the Omega version of King of Fighter Stadium. I, so it's not soy sauce for geese. Where is the taste? Cheek and Lucas once more. Charlie the King, after taking game one, opting to stick with this character. He wants to go Sheik as far as he can bring this character today. It's a character he's had a very love-hate relationship throughout most of this game in particular. Unable to get the lock onto Charlie. Look at this fair train just taking him across the entire stage. Muffin managing to clip him with the PK Thunder 2. Smartly tethering under Charlie. Muffin makes it back safely, but just gets himself right into Sheik's rapid jab. Applying a bit more percent. Above the needles and the get-up attack to protect himself. There as he goes back, another bouncing fish. We saw the sparks. There was no recovering from that. 
buffing from Mars once again down a first stock. Does manage to get something started with the up tilt. But if you are gonna wish, uh, if you are going to whiff, excuse me, that dash grab, there's just so much opportunity for Charlie to punish with even more than just a standard tilt. First hit of Dare, proving to be all that Muffin needed there to regain stage control, as well as that tilt, putting Charlie under 132, not too far away from death with such a light character. This tech, that up smash, really ambitious there. Just killing off the side as we see some of the fireworks and sparks go off in the background. Muffin very much still in this as he starts to get a few nares early. Back here and there, just gonna fall a bit short. Interrupts the DK Thunder 2 once more. He's gonna be approaching from such an odd angle, but does have the drift to make it back. Bounces off the side of the stage as well. And Magnets that too. Is that gonna be a punish from Charlie? No! Ops to go with an aerial instead of going for the expert timing with the forward smash. And not even gonna connect with that. Applies a couple more needles. The perfect shield ends up bouncing fish. Charlie has just been utilizing that one move to all of its full extent, all of its Smash 4 glory on full display in Smash Ultimate here. Charlie, not relenting at all, is going to be met with a back throw into the PK freeze as well, but that's going to be interrupted with the returning needles. Goes with the PK fire to force him to attack, but he's going to be put underneath the stage. Is he going to make it back? He's not. He's going to ricochet off the bottom. And Charlie to King with another two stock. Love and laughing him off, but that was just such an unfortunate situation. Charlie knew exactly the geometry of the underside of the stage. And this is a pummeling thus far. Back onto normal FD this time. And opting to switch Lucas costumes as well as we get this third game going. Have to see if it comes with a change in mentality as well. Something going in the dash attack there. Here to poke him to the ledge. Crosses up shield with an air this time. Muffin smartly playing in that sort of medium distance. Most characters in this game, especially characters with high damage outputs, tend to have a sort of blind spot. And in Sheik's case, it is where the needles can hit, but not much else, and you're still in the range for, say, a dash attack punish from Lucas. Just that two or three character lengths away. course if you're so often on the move but no matter how in motion you are muffin is just going to catch you out with that up throw this is already looking like a much better game three than either of the first two games for muffin as well Charlie once again just going to be a pain in muffin's side as he wants to recover but he's going to make it back without too much trouble throw and he just tech rolls right into another combo throw it off there to get him back He's gonna interrupt that magnet Charlie finally managing to get some leeway in this game three landing down air but unable to get an up air follow up another back air just off of a simple multi hit move
And when you can get some of these back throws just so consistently off of not only raw shield reads, but also setups, as Muffin has been able to do so many times, not only in this set, but throughout the entire tournament and in so much of this Smash career as well, it can be valuable against lighter characters. A couple of fares and nearly connecting there. Does he have enough juice to make it back? He doesn't. Charlie sacrificing his stock in the process, but able to take Muffins as well. That diagonal angle proving to be too much for Lucas. Another fair as he goes for it. And here's where some of these combos can start. Does manage to intercept that projectile with his magnet, but... Still a bit of work to do. Perfect shield and able to get the nair afterward. A couple of needles will make contact too, but the back throw this time can just about even out the percent. Charlie able to get something off of the mistech as well with the drag down. Wanted to end it all with a bouncing fish, but gonna get that recovery out of there. Is he gonna make it back? After that bouncing fish, it's going to put him at a different angle on this second one to do it for good. Muffin from Mars going to fall 3-0 to Charlie with an impressive display of dexterity and reads and just some just some perfectly timed parries as well. Those never hurt. Charlie the King punching his ticket into Winterside Grand. What depth?